I want to continue on the topic today of free will. And let's begin with a thought experiment. Let's say tomorrow you woke up and there was a technology that was developed that proved that um, free will was an illusion, meaning that you could go into a chamber and before you acted, someone would always tell you what you were just about to do. So for all intents and purposes, let's just assume that you believed that free will was an illusion, that your choices, every choice you are making is not, um, you lose your agency. You believe that you are not the actor um, of your decisions. The question I want to think about is what consequences does that have? Would you wake up the next day and just continue living out your life and just assume that there's something outside of you? Maybe someone with some technology that could look at you and basically, you know, just have fun thinking about all the things that you were going to do that you didn't know that you, what you were going to do about. And let's say you are driving your car and you are speeding and a cop comes and pulls you over and says, oh, you were speeding because they had the machinery to to know that you were going to speed. Now, the interesting question is that, are you morally responsible? If they knew that you were going to do that, if you say you didn't freely choose to make the action to speed, then are you held accountable for your actions? Which brings up a really interesting point. If you don't actually have agency, if you aren't the one that's making uh, the, the actions and the decisions that are going on in your life, how are you at all morally responsible for what you're doing? We all have those times in our lives where we do something and we, we think, oh, we could have done that better. And sometimes that memory comes back and you're like, well, yeah, I kind of feel guilty about that thing. Or, and my conscience is bothering me about that. But if we had no free will, then we shouldn't let that voice, you know, um, intrude on how we're feeling. So that would be a really interesting phenomenon if someone were to prove that free will doesn't exist, yet we still have these feelings probably developed by some evolutionary process that makes us feel guilty after doing things that we evaluate to be wrong or something that we could have done better. So I guess what I want to say is that if we discover that free will doesn't exist, either through technology or some other means, um, what ramifications would that have? And what we're... I, what I think is the case is that free will or idea of how we exist in the world as being agents of our own actions is constitute like is constitutive of our being in the world. If that were no longer the case, it would really be hard to even fathom what it would be like to be in the world anymore. And so it's not an isolated phenomenon. It's not that you know we're trying to pit science against uh, morality. It's that those two are very highly linked and we just never really make that connection uh, that often.